Next game, Lakers, Mavericks, 2.30 p.m. East. Dallas is minus eight, totals 226 and a half. Now, I do have concerns about this pretty high number here for Dallas. The Mavs failed to cover in six out of their last nine ball games. And they're also one of the worst home covering teams in the league. Out of 17 contests this year in front of their own fans, the Mavs covered the point spread only five times. And of course, that's good for only 29% in that category. When it comes to offensive production, the Mavs are in the bottom 10 in home scoring, dead last in home offensive boards. Now, they're facing a Lakers team on the other side who's actually one of the better offensive rebounding teams in the Western Conference themselves. When it comes to scoring points, the Lakers are actually in the top three in road points per game. LeBron James is getting over 27 points a night, along with eight boards, six assists. Meanwhile, Lonnie Walker is drilling 40% of his three-pointers. He's also averaging 15.5 points a game. Now, injury-wise, AD is still out for the Lakers. Meanwhile, for Dallas, Walker, Finney Smith, and Hardy are questionable. Kleba and Green are still out. When it comes to the total, the Mavericks are 10 and 7 to the over in their own building. Meanwhile, Los Angeles went 63% to the over in their travels. I'm going to lean toward the Lakers plus 8 over 226 and a half.